Hello everybody, uh, we've got a filler guide for you today, uh, something I've been playing around with recently, um, so it's fairly new to me too, but it's, it's, it's pretty damn simple and they're quite useful. Basically fillers can be used to either fill a hole with blocks, uh, or sort of craft um, a hollow block, or you can use it to clear an area using a clear pan. Um, so basically same sort of thing with uh, as with quarries um, using landmarks but this time we need a three-dimensional um, specification so you want to set out your area um, uh, the of size but um, the only difference is this time we're going to want to use um, uh, the other axis um, and specify a height <coughs> for your frame which will dictate obviously uh, the area you want to fill height wise as well as uh, Length and width. Um, so, uh, you just want to make you know a little structure like this. Um, obviously, it's got to be in line again, so this is directly above the torch below there. Once you've placed that down, you will want to uh, right-click on your landmark, which should then... Ugh. Landmarks, as I said in the previous one, are very fiddly. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Sometimes, there we go. Now it has worked. So, as you can see, once you've done that, you can literally just... Um, take away your stairs. You've got to leave that one block until you've placed the filler. Because if you haven't placed the filler, it's uh, it'll, it'll take away that block. It will just kill the frame. So, once you have placed the filler against your frame, just like we did with the quarry, you just place it in front of the torch. The torches will disappear. Uh, and you can... Uh, and you'll see the frame. Um, you can, in fact, actually... Oh, that one's just bugged out. But once you place it, you can go and collect the landmarks again so you don't waste uh, all that precious lapis. Um, now, for this, um, you need to make patterns to specify inside the filler what you want to make. And for this, you've either got to use bricks or glass. So you're going to first need to find some clay, and you need to smelt that clay, which will give you a single brick. And then a single brick will form um, in a sh uh, four uh, single bricks in a crafting table will form you um, a brick block like this. Well, this is what you use to specify what you want to do with your area. So now you've got, I mean, there's there's quite a few. You'll have to check up on the wiki which ones. Um, but I think these are the main ones people are going to want to use. Solid fill area, useful if you've built a quarry um, and you want to fill it again with blocks. So you'd specify using the landmarks um, around the, the edge of the quarry. Uh, and then you'd use this pattern in the filler, which is a solid brick, which would give you um, something like... This that'll give you a solid fill pattern. Now, both this uh, little item here and on the side of the filler will represent what it's currently doing. So this would fill in the entire um, area with a solid um, block. So basically, just replacing the land. So you know you've got something there to dig back into, or foundations, or whatever. You. Now you can also use glass to clear an area. So if you put this, um, for example, you set the landmarks, uh, you dug down and, and set it through an area, you could specify in here using glass, um, exactly like this, but with glass, so all of the uh, all the squares filled with glass, and it would actually clear the area for you uh, and delete all the blocks in there, making a nice space. Now, the one I've used, um, which I found handy, is basically sort of like making yourself a little house. What I did was I dug out an entire quarry. Now, that entire quarry I've decided to make into a multi-level house. So using the filler for this was brilliant because um, now using this pattern, as it says here, will make your wall and the floor and the ceiling. So basically, it'll make a big hollow cube um, for you, or rectangle, whichever shape um, you're going for, um, which is this here. Now I know bricks are specified here. You have to specify with either brick or glass. Brick obviously places, glass obviously clears. Now for this scenario, we're going to make our wall, ceiling, uh, and floor. Uh, which is denoted by the same little shape, but with a um, little square in the middle. You know you've got the right shape because I, uh, A, you've got it in there and it appears, and B, these little lights here go red if you've got a wrong shape. Uh, sorry, go green, and it'll go red if you've got it wrong. So put it back on, it should go green. That means you've got an okay shape, and away you go. So, uh, once you've got that all set up, you then need to decide what you actually want to build with. So this doesn't have any bearing on the actual resources you're building with. So what looks, what's going to look nice? Let's say, I don't know, some marble brick. So wax some marble brick in there. This is basically the area you're going to use for your materials. So if you want to make it out of all marble brick, whack all the marble brick in there. Um, and also, if you don't want to make a ceiling, um, I think it does that last. So basically just keep watching it. And when it gets to the ceiling point, just stop it. And then you, know, you don't put the ceiling on top. 
Now, again, I've used the same. Uh, you can either use um, a steam engine to power it, um, or you can use an energy link uh, generator or connect the energy link to your existing uh, electric infrastructure. So, if we whack a stack of coal in this generator, it should, there we go, start filling our area for us. <clears throat> I assume the more power, the faster it goes, pretty much. Um, so, I'm going to whack some coal in there as well. Oh, we're going to start that off with a uh, redstone torch, because you have to specify uh, with steam engines to turn them on. Um, now, it should go pretty fast. Um, the filler does work a lot faster than it does uh, on a quarry, um, so as you see, it's building pretty quick here. Um, I did a large area, and it took maybe 10-15 minutes to do a massive quarry down to bedrock uh, and surround it all, which is, is not too bad. Uh, let's stick another one there. <clears throat> Generally speaking, obviously, the more energy you give it, the faster it's going to be. Same with the quarry. You know, if you're just using steam engines, it's going to go a bit slower. Uh, if you're going to use electric, um, it's going to go a lot faster. But that is the basics of the filler. It is really pretty damn simple. Um, as you can see, it'll just carry on doing that. And then you will have yourself a house. What is it going to do next? Oh, there we go. Start making walls. Uh, I'll just do that and finish a cube, and then there you've got, you've got yourself a little habitable area. Um, obviously, for small builds, for something this size, you'd probably just do it by hand because it's only fairly small. Um, but, you know, like I did, if you had a massive quarry, you would probably want to um, use a filler because it would save a hell of a lot of time. Um, sometimes being Minecraft, like, it looks like it's stopped now, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't, uh, unless it's run out. Yes, <laughs> run out of brick already. Um, it does use a hell of a lot um, of resources. Obviously, as you can imagine it's, uh, you know, quite large areas. Um, you're going to be using the filler, so... You're probably going to want to put that full of 64 stacks. I think I had to do that three times on mine. Um, so it does use a lot of blocks if you're doing a large area for obvious reasons. Um, so other than that, I think that's about it. Any questions, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer. But uh, that is a Tech It filler for you.